children. I don't think there's right and wrong photography for anybody. I think especially, I think, I think one of the, the things that most people do is that they're always waiting for the perfect shot and they, and they take too few pictures. I think the difference between somebody like myself who's a professional is that I shoot way more pictures and my chances are just better. Cameras, kids, and animals are never really a good mix, but I'm out in Riverside today at the Museum of Photography, and we're finding out just how easy it actually is to work with animals and kids, especially when you've got a good-looking guy like Brutus here, a 35-year-old desert tortoise, to work with the kids. When creative people get together socially, great ideas can spring to life. Professional photographer Carlos Puma and John Welsh, the public information chief for Riverside County Animal Services, first talked about getting kids involved in photographing animals that need homes. They then asked professional photographer and close friend Peter Pun to pitch the idea to Reginald Woolery. Reginald coordinates educational programs for young people at the California Museum of Photography in Riverside. Suddenly, Pose, spot Pose, was born. We wanted to not just do a, uh, a photo class, we wanted to really get kids involved in kind of real world issues. So this is one way to sensitize them to that. More people are concerned about the environment, but we're also concerned about animals. So we thought, let's bring the kids and let's take them, have a fun time taking pictures and let's publish maybe some photos in the newspaper and talk about like, you know, animals like this which are abandoned. Though their styles are markedly different, when it comes to their passion for photography, they are of one mind. Carlos and John Welsh, they had come up with this idea a while back last year, I think, and I think our biggest problem was a venue. We, we didn't have a good location, and obviously I think this is actually quite nice, and, and the Museum of Photography is, it has a lot of resources, and they're trying to reach out to the community. Sometimes a lot of the programs, photography-wise or art-wise, sometimes it's just done for the aesthetic. And what we wanted to do, what I thought would be interesting, is to let the kids know that sometimes through your art you can change things. You can, you know, make, make things better in the world. And as both Peter and Carlos are family men, they want to pass their passion and techniques on to local children. You're responsible for whatever you see on this viewfinder. So if you want him to look big like this, then you got to get close. If you want him to look to see the whole person, then you got to back up. Now, this camera has a little telephoto lens and a wide angle lens, but we're not going to use that today. There's a cursor there, like a, a spot that says that's way you, you want to focus on something. You put that object on there, and then you press this shutter halfway, just halfway, and don't release it yet. Don't release it yet. Then you recompose. Recompose means, like, let's say you want to put the subject off to the center, right? Then you go ahead and do that. Or if you want to do zoom it out, go ahead and do that. Okay. Well, we're always excited to get involved in these kinds of projects where young people can see animals for what we see them as, you know, loving creatures, and it kind of exposes them, if they don't have a pet, to uh, just the wonders of a dog. And anytime we can kind of do these outreaches where um, uh, young people are exposed to animals, that's kind of what we want to keep doing. On Sunday, December 2nd, from noon to 4 p.m., the UCR and California Museum of Photography will hold the next workshop. To RSVP, call the Education Office at 951-827-4796.